Hello, beautiful people. You are looking at SoFi Stadium, where we'll be crowning a national champion for our college football season tonight. We'll be roaming the field here all evening. We bought a field suite where we'll be going to Ty and Nick to others. We'll be hopefully having the time of our lives this evening. And we are so lucky and thankful that you have allowed us into your life. Who are you standing next to, Pat? That looks like an incredible looking crew. You would be right on your furthest left. This man is a COVID cowboy. He beat COVID, became a cowboy while in the COVID cave because he started watching Yellowstone. He thinks he's Kevin Costner, one of the greatest gamblers on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, Tone Diggs, nine-year NFL vet, the incredibly handsome, the incredibly smart, a man who's been wearing this suit for 12 hours since this morning, Darius J. Butler, the face of Ohio, college football national champion, A.J. Hawk, and obviously sports stooge, Boston Connor. Everybody was talking about tempo for the TCU offense for the Georgia defense. Georgia ain't worried about a damn thing right now. About to get in position down in this end zone, so you know we, we know we know what happens to me and Connor getting in the end zone. Ball's coming. Stetson Bennett. Uh oh, oh, he beat himself. us to it. Oh, he beat us to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, we Hoover. get the last step. We get the last step. Stetson Bennett. Stetson Bennett, he beat us to it. Keeps damn it. it for himself. A little bit of a shimmy, a little bit of a shake, and the dogs are on the board early. The 25-year-old Stetson Bennett, not only is he going to go hold for the extra point, he's got incredible accuracy and has the ability to run, which is why he's such a weapon, A.J. Hawk. Now, think about if you're TCU's defense, okay, yeah, we knew he's a threat with his legs, but he scores here this early in the game, man, just adds another element that you have to worry about. I see you guys are down there in the end zone. How's the view for this extra point to go seven zip? Hold up. Not too bad, Pat. There are a lot of people down here, but boy, yeah. Georgia is loud. I don't know if Georgia's going to be happy about that call later in life. Who cares? Uh -uh. TCU, first down. End around. Darius Davis. Oh, oh no. no! Ball out. Ball down. Georgia's out. got the rock. No. First down, Georgia Look. Bulldogs. Oh, up boy. seven. Hey. In the national championship. That'll How do they stay about? Flag. That ball, Bullard bounces back. Flag. It says, I'll get a hold, then I'll get the ball. Max Duggan's bleeding right now, but that's not the story. Story is to set him up, knock it out. Oh, no. That was actually Christopher Smith, the vet yeah. of the team. They say he's the smartest football player they got. Yeah, leads the team in interceptions too. That's bad ball security right there. Run up the left side, Don. Cannot have it in your right arm, baby. Come on now. Come on, Darius. With where you guys are standing down there, the Georgia Bulldogs are about to come right in your face. Hell yeah. Watch out, fellas. Oh. Keep pounding away. This TCU team has done that all year. Max Duggan takes a snap. Time Whoa. takes a shot. Oh, wide open, Darius Davis. Spin move, circle oh. button, dancing, out of bounds Man. at the 13. Here we go. Make it the 11. First down, Horn Frogs on an explosive. You do the run up the middle, then you take the shot. Now you do a little tempo. Max Duggan, move. back at shotgun. Right back at it, too. That's the shot we needed, man. Keeping it in Duggan's hand right here. Max Duggan. Down 10 zip, Quentin Johnson in motion. Yep, Max Duncan in. There we go. takes it there in we go. for the touch. I just made eye contact with a man who has no idea he just scored in a national championship. Wow. This is what Max Duncan has done all year. Put the team on his back, and the Horn Frogs respond. Connor, I thought we were going to maybe get a two-score blowout. TCU walks right down the field. You can't get a two-score blowout when Duggan is keeping the ball. Let the kids spin it like they just did. We got a game, Pat. A little that high candy. Answer right there, man. Brought that fly motion over there. Got that edge defender out of there. Kept it in Duggan's hands. Get him right in the end zone. Way to answer, baby. Way to weather the storm. It's raining yeah. in Los Angeles. Indoors. It's raining indoors in Los Angeles. Unbelievable. That's a special night. This is so God cool. taking a tinkle on something magical, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Whichever God you believe in, it's raining right through this roof. I don't know how that's possible, but this is the national championship. This is the national championship, and there's some moments being uh -oh. made. Uh-oh, right up Fake the rail. Back, right up wide the rail. Open. That's the shot that they wanted, baby. 
Oh, oh my God. God. McConkey right in your guys' face down there. Let me see that perfect. Oh, no. Let me see that perfect. How did he get so open? Did you see him? I, I, I saw him. Oh, that snap. They sprinted to the line. They had a quick shift. They snapped the ball, kind of caught him off guard while they were in, they were kind of moving on defense. d -butt, this is exactly like last week. The little fake roll back left. Wide open Todd the lad. What a play by the Georgia Bulldogs. Same thing. And it was set up that last play when Stetson won the deep shot. Once again, took the smart check down. And this one actually had two players wide open. What was that? Four plays right there? The Georgia Bulldogs answer the TCU Horned Frogs. Podlesny to put this thing to 17-7. It is true. Yes, up. Great catch. Georgia Bulldogs did not blink. Didn't blink. They didn't even blink. That's me blinking. AJ, blink. What a play call. That's AJ blinking. AJ's Two all blinks. doped up. He's out here in LA. <laughs> More eye candy. Okay. okay. Hand off. Okay. Tough run for the TCU Horn Frogs. Amari DiMicardo is a dog. We saw one of his runs from the last drive down here. AJ, what did you say? It was so physical. He took a forearm to the throat. He took multiple guys on his back. Like, yeah, this is. Whether it looks like it or not on TV, they are, the pads are popping today. And this guy has an unbelievable mustache Holy behind us. Holy hell, this guy. Can you show this guy? Couldn't mustache? even finish our thought. Look at this guy's mustache. Get him on camera. Oh my God, sir, that mustache. Unbelievable. <laughs> Holy wow. smokes. Holy smokes. Are you a firefighter? Good for you, bro. Thanks oh. for your service. First down, Horn Frogs on a second and three from the 39. Here we did we not go. see it. Obviously, we were breathtaking by the mustache. Holy hell, he Tim is. Tebow oh, is coming. God. What? You can feel them before you see them. And the thing that you feel is absolute greatness. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, me? we're live right now. Tebow, we're live. We're on. We're live right now. He's huge. He's a giant. Yeah, he's huge. Like he's Tim Tebow. Like he's bigger than life. Yeah. He's grown. Tim Tebow's down here. I wonder if the TCU Horn Frogs knew that they're going to be playing on the same field Tim Tebow would walk. I doubt it. Welcome to the... Welcome to the bright lights, kids. Stretch play. McIntosh gets the edge. Oh, he got the edge. Bowers. First down with ease. Jumps over a Photogger 10. What's up, boys? How Runs we into doing? a bunch of people. AJ, the hair looks magical right now. Look amazing, Timmy. No edge. Tim, you're no stranger to big, big, big stages. Everywhere you walk is a big stage because you're Tim Tebow. What are your thoughts on this not being a corporate event at all, being very loud? It is so easy right now for Stetson Bennett. The first play of the game, a false start for them. So it's loud, people are going crazy right now. But TCU has to find a way to make it hard. You gotta put pressure on him. You gotta make him uncomfortable because right now it's a walk in the park for him. Speaking of walk in the park, Stetson does oh, that. Really, he could have walked in. Zone. Tim Tebow. He could have walked it's in. It's not a walk in the park. It's walking so far, pal. Stetson Bennett with his second touchdown of the first half, 23-7. Georgia over T C U. Is this how you saw this thing going, Tim? I honestly thought TCU was going to be a little bit more competitive than this, and and it's going to start offensively, not defensively. For it, they got to be able to get some momentum going offensively. First drive, Max missed two big throws. You only get a few chances against a great team like a, like a Georgia in their defense. What what does Stetson Bennett do? What makes him so special that separates him from other people? He's obsessed with the game. He studied it so much. He has so much experience, and he's a better athlete than people give him credit for. Oh, there it is. Good catch. Oh, you're on the all Good hands catch. team, too. Good Sorry, catch. I just saved your life, Tebow. Yeah, can I have a rock? I just saved Tebow's life. I'm keeping it. <laughs> hey, I no my chance. Well, oh, shit. Oh. We're back you on the other side. Welcome back to SoFi Stadium. Right before the break, an extra point almost killed Tim Tebow. Natural instincts had to take in place. I could not lose the greatest human on earth, and I'm happy they gave you that ball, Tim. Honestly. Honestly, it's a it's a keepsake. I'll remember it forever. Me too. That was cool. We did that. It was a special moment. Hey, you know it was when a moment right there. You're playing for the Jets, and uh, I was warming up, and you were warming up on the other side. I almost hit you with like a 60-yard missile. I were was, you trying? No. I was so scared. Right there, I got to make up for it. That's a full life circle moment for me. But that was actually probably the extent of the day for me was warm-ups. Now you That's had a fake punt against us. It was a great completion. Darius Davis tackled inside Man. the 20. 
I do think we need to give a lot of credit to Todd Monk and the OC of Georgia. Yes, yeah. He is dialing it up right now. He is spreading the football, jet sweeps, zone reads. He's even running a little option with Stetson and taking chunks. He's keeping TCU's defense off balance. Not only Monk, let's talk about Kirby Smart. This team's been the national champs all year. We haven't talked about them. They kept them humble. How have they been able to do that, Tim? Because they've been the hunter, not the hunted. And this team is playing like it. Like, they didn't come out here hoping to win. They came out here from the get-go with the dagger, trying to let TCU to understand, hey, we were down last week, but when they let a sleeping dog lie in Georgia, oh, oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They had us in the first half, didn't they? Whoa. Didn't they? You were doing a meme there on the what? internet, Sam. I heard you. Whoa. Whoa. I, I seen you. What, what you was doing. that shake right there? You know what it was. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. I don't either. Can you explain it? All right. Why don't we call the game? Here we go. Come Rock on, guys. Out there. Nope. Max is taking his shot. time. Pitch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Georgia's oh, first no. down. Hey. On the 19. 36. We Whoa. thought draw or screen to get a hey. punt. The Ooh. Bulldogs hey. are dancing. The Bulldogs are barking. And Bullard has two picks and a fumble recovery in the national championship. Hey. There is Butler. Bullard is a ball player in the slot. Late to the out. You said screen draw. It could have just did that, gotten a halftime. Instead, you throw a pick. And now Georgia fight scores again. Look, you're late to the out. And you you're throwing to, from the boundary to the field, too, where you have all that space for a DB to undercut oh, it. Man, what a play. Great Third play. and 18. That's not a first Great down. Play. They throw that anyways. What are we doing? It's just a dangerous play to run down here. I like that they said, nah, we need something yeah. and go for it. With that being said, first and 10, Georgia Bulldogs up 24. 36 seconds left, oh, one no. timeout. He's in a three-point. They motion Ladd over. Arena League, full start. Oh, Stats him back up. the other way. Eight. One handed oh, touchdown. Oh, the Georgia God. Bulldogs are up 30. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. wait he he you has it. But okay. That was know. a bit late. That was a one-handed snag. Mitchell. Oh my wow. God. Um, Tie goes to the offense on possession. Uh, hey, his name is uh, Don oh, okay. A. Mitchell, yeah, a dog, of course. Once again, the offensive linemen are asking a TCU Horn Frog fan. That was a one-handed grab in the national championship. Yep. Unbelievable. And that Italian man you were talking to might be able to tell the future. We should talk to him a little more before these games. Here's Sonny Dykes. What do you say to your team at halftime, honestly? Hey, let's just get on the board. Let's just get one. Let's make one play and then another play and then another play. Is just all coach speak? I don't know. Hey, hey real quick, Tone, I'll click your Sonny Dykes, please. We're the TCU yeah, Horn Frogs. Us. Please let us know. All right, boss. First half didn't go our way. We've down. been here before. We've played in many, many close games. We're doing this for the great state of Texas. And I know a little bit about the great state of Texas. We never give up. We're going to go out there the second half. We're not going to give up there either. We'll just keep going. We're going to keep fighting one play at a time. What can we do? Bud, we're down 31 points, Coach. Coach, that, I don't want to play. Shut up. You know who else was down 31 points? Who's that? The Italians. All right. All right. <laughs> Darius Davis with a little bit of a hole. AJ, I saw you not participate in the team. That's the problem. When everybody yeah. doesn't buy in, that's what happens. it's 38-7. When you're down 38-7, I was trying to show you. Sometimes a team can splinter and say, hey, you guys need to go score some more points. Hey, defense, you need to get a turnover. I'm just trying to you're the illustrate that a little bit. Yeah, you're the problem. I, I don't want to be the problem. So you got to bring me together, coach. you got to bring the team Stop together. Stop being the cancer of the team. Exactly. Killing us. Hey, the buddy gave it away. Big brain football right there, huh? Do you see how big this dude was that just walked behind us? Holy. <laughs> Whoa. That. that guy's a giant. I see him from over here. Indeed, Terrell Davis back here. I see how Jack he is. What did he just call there? Called something. Yeah, a, pen a, a penalty on some team. I'm not sure. You're exactly distracted what. by that huge Great dude. Job. Yeah, that guy was too big. Joining us now is a coach who is world renowned for motivating. And I have no idea what he'd say to TCU right now, but thankfully he's here. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Lou Holtz on the phone. Coach, what are you watching out there, Coach? Well, Pat, thanks, thanks for letting me come on the show. I'm going to try not to explode my larynx trying to yell over in the crowd. It's loud in there. If you're talking to Sonny Dykes and TCU right now, you don't say anything. You say, hey, Coach, don't get beat by 90, okay? There's no chance they're going to come back in this game. That's a cute return. That's nice. 
but there's a flag. It doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, you know, they're, they're better off grabbing Luka Doncic out of the crowd and maybe lining him up next to Quentin Johnson, that receiver. Because they can't do a damn thing. It's as simple as that. Georgia, I mean, Georgia could go out there with, I don't know, a couple of the guys that Notre Dame used to have when Luke Rockney was coaching. You know, a couple, five, six, 140-pound defensive linemen, and they still beat the brakes off TCU. So to answer your question, Pat, at this point, you're just trying not to get beat by 100. Thank you, Coach. Coach Lowell, it sounds like he's having a good time. Always yeah. great to hear from Coach. Always great to hear from Makes Coach. a lot of sense, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is currently 45 to 7. Georgia Bulldogs over the TCU Horn Frogs. We decided to Tebow here, formerly known as Praying for this TCU team to do something, anything, well, Darius. How do you think it's going for us right now? I mean, you need to pray a little bit more. It's, it's ugly right there. It's only getting uglier. I hate to say this and report this, but there's a dog watching this game back in Athens. Ugga has been sighted, and that dog, that son of a bitch, Ugga, is having the night of his life. Wow. Looks like another generation of Bulldogs in the back there. A little bit of a rocket, just like the Georgia oh, no. Bulldogs have been all night. That's a first down for Georgia. He's still high. Super Frog. Super Frog doesn't know. Third quarter just ended. Down 45. Put the fours up, Super there we go. Frog. Look at this TCU Frog. Guys, their fans aren't doing it. We, um, oh, yeah. we have a fourth quarter coming. Georgia's about to do their sound thing. Bulldogs are up 45 points. Jeez. Legend. Sir, sir, sir. Oh, yeah. Sir, we are alive right now. Did we hear that right? You fought off three. What was the number there? Uh, we have 50 Americans uh, at top out, uh, combat outpost meeting. 50 Americans versus uh, 300 Taliban fighters back in October 3rd, 2009. Legend. Thank you for your service, sir. You're a badass, man. For those other Americans, I wouldn't be here. And for the eight men that gave their lives, I owe it all, all to them. Man, thank you for your service. You have... You say Hell that because yeah. of who you are, you're a badass, sir. You deserve every pop you just got in here, man. Thank you for your service. Dude. Thank you. We're live here, obviously. We had no idea who was gonna walk right behind us. They did this intro, and we were listening to some stuff, and we thought we heard 300 insurgents. We're like, yeah. what just happened? Clint Romashaw. Ro Romashaw, I believe, is how they pronounced it. Yep. We got badasses walking amongst us. Don't ever forget that. Oh, yeah. That's what I think I get remember quickly there. Oh, yeah. You come from a military family. Obviously, yep. that's a service that is real. What a badass right there, that guy. Yeah, man. And they'll do it. And he talk, talk, talked about the eight you know, the eight men that gave his, their lives as well. But uh, that's awesome, man. We obviously get to enjoy stuff like this, football, being free. And shout out to all those service men and women out there. Big pop in here when he oh, was yeah. introduced. Huge. Big pop, as it should have been. Stetson's been there for eight years. Yeah, they're doing it right wow. now. Here we go. Let's go, Stetson. Take it in, oh, Stetson. What a moment. You earned this, buddy. Great career. Back-to-back -back national champion from a man that they said you can walk on here to a man that they said you'll never play here. Stetson has lived out every bulldog dream because he's been a bulldog through and through. Back-to-back -back natties. Congrats to him on the curtain call. We'll see you to end this game on the other side. Joining us is Marty Smith. Marty, hey, the SEC is represented pretty well tonight, hasn't it, Marty? Uh, this is just a good old back-home ass whooping. It is, isn't it? I mean, it's... Tissue, great season. It, phenomenal transcendent season and it's going to benefit them tremendously tremendously moving forward but to me seeing the way that Todd Monk and Kirby Smart Stetson all those guys continue to pour it on I think Kirby Smart wanted to make a statement tonight to oh to the world to everybody hey, it ain't think, anymore. the thing about Kirby that you have to understand is he always is thinking two three four steps ahead Check. so this is a statement to high school players this is a statement to guys who might want to get in the portal. Yep. You want to come to the University of Georgia. Hell yeah. Speaking of that, you know Kirby Smart. How, much, how long do you think he enjoys this one? He's probably calling recruits in the locker room after the game, I would imagine. I completely agree. And I remember he told me a story that last year, after they won the first national championship in Athens, Georgia, oh, in more than 40 years. Touchdown! Jeez, Marty. Touchdown, dogs. 
Jeez. Hey, they're pouring it all, fellas. They're pouring it all. Yikes. Marty, he just broke seven tackles. Stetson Bennett yeah. says that is the drunk, obnoxious Georgia fan coming down the track. That's a man saying, I'm going to have a statue outside yep. of Sanford Stadium. Yep. That's a man saying, I, mean, I look, could be the next Purdy guys, in the NFL. He's the American he's dream. Yes. Stetson Bennett is the American dream. How do you yes. not love him? Nobody yes. believe. Grew up going to games with his dad. All he ever wanted to do was run out of the tunnel and touch the damn grass. And now he won back-to-back -back national championships at the school he grew up loving. Hell yeah. Back-to-back. This is just one where you kind of throw your hands up and you tip your cap. So you put your hands up, play oh. that song, butterflies fly away, nod in my head like, yeah, Ooh. and every day like, yeah. That's a party in the USA, bro. Hell yeah, I'm my a country way. boy. I've never heard that song. <laughs> 60 burger. Oh, it's Billy Ray's daughter. Come on. It is yeah. Billy Ray's daughter. By the way. So you did know. Thank you. Uh, it's a blowout. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hey, -o. we're back. Touchback. <laughs> Fourth quarter. Come on. This is all she wrote. Yeah. Congrats to the Georgia Bulldogs and to college football on a hell of a season. There was times this year where football on primetime was terrible. It felt like college football yep. showed up for us on plenty of occasions. I personally would like to say thank you to the college football community for allowing me to penetrate you this season and be inside of you all year. It has been awesome, it has been a ride, and boys, I can't thank you enough for tonight. Start with you, D-Butt, you have crushed it this year, pal. Hey, it's been fun, man, appreciate you having me on. Hey, hell of a year to you too, man, hell of a run, bro. We did it. Tone, my professor on college football every week, what a year for college football. Thank you so much for letting me do this, and, and honestly, the whole college game day experience working with you was was awesome. Learned a lot about it. I, I love college football and only through this year. Yeah, next year maybe you'll speak into the mic. Connor, <laughs> yeah, I didn't say a single word in the microphone there. It's all right. We heard it. We read your voice. We read your lips, I mean. Mm -hmm. Connor, your thoughts are on game day, obviously on the national championship. Yeah, what a joke. Uh, thank you for the opportunity both no, this thank week you. and last week. It is ridiculous. This is not a real life. It's fake. I was never a college football fan before this year. Thank you for introducing it to me. I will forever support Army and Navy, the two greatest college football programs in the history of this country. Army, one of the only, one of only five teams to ever go back to back for national championships. That was at 44 and 45. I believe they're in the middle of a war at the time. That's right. So they did their thing. AJ, hell of a year, you college football national champion. Unfortunately, Khan forgot about the Air Force, but that's all right. I will make sure we got <laughs> oh, the Air Force yeah. Academy. Army, Navy, whatever's going on. Either way, honestly, awesome. If, you, if you're if you not a fan of college football, I would say get to a game somehow. Find a way to get into a stadium because it's special being here. It's awesome. I appreciate you. The pageantry, the tradition, the moments, like the one that Stetson's having right now, that'll sh change the course of his life and for Max Duggan, who will remember this forever and help shape him going forward. Dreams happen tonight for people. Nightmares became present for one team, but when they look back on it, they'll say, hell of a year, boys.